Now, China has opened the world's longest sea bridge, stretching just over 26 miles. It beats the previous world record, also held in China. The giant structure took just four years to construct at a cost of £1.4 billion. And it was all done to halve the journey times between the port city of Qingdao, an airport on a nearby island, and a residential suburb. It's so long you could run a marathon on it. Earthquake proof, they claim. This is now the world's longest bridge to cross water. Up to 30,000 cars a day can now use its six lanes to travel between the port of Qingdao and its industrial suburbs. Chinese media reports were quick to highlight the sheer scale of their engineers' achievements. At 26 and a half miles long, the bridge is longer than the English Channel. It did take 17 years to plan, but building only began in 2007 by 10,000 construction staff who worked around the clock. One British company which operates in China says the bridge shows how there's no limit to the country's ambitions. The issue with China, of course, is that they have huge population transfer from rural areas to, to, to uh, urban areas, and that's requiring massive more infrastructure. So at the moment, it's not at all clear that there is a limit. They're, they're needing more and more and more. The Qingdao Bridge opened the same day as China's longest undersea tunnel. Projects helped by one-party rule that has less difficulty pushing through major planning decisions than Western counterparts. But one architect also told Channel 4 News Chinese designers have become among the world's best and they're already working on beating their own new world record. Helped by British engineers, preparatory work is already underway on a giant bridge linking Hong Kong and Macau to mainland China that will span 30 miles. That's due to open in 2015.